Your new blog, your new website isn't getting any traffic from Google. You publish articles, it's been months and you're not getting any traction. Do this instead. So I want you to create a topical map and only publish articles within that content map. Don't worry if you don't know what a topical map is. It's very simple. I'm going to give you a very simple explanation. But before that, I want to show you proof that this actually works. I built a brand new WordPress website from scratch. I used a web hosting that I know I can afford and that is reliable like Hostinja. I SEO optimized the site, created a topical map and published all the articles in that specific topical map. The results, first page Google rankings within nine days. Yes, in nine days, this brand new website is showing up on Google search. <laughs> Some that a lot of people, they want, I was able to get in within nine days. Remember, this is a brand new website with zero backlinks, just high quality articles written from a well-researched and thorough topical map. Now, I'm sure you're curious, what is a topical map? Paul, tell me, what's a topical map? Yes, we'll get right into that. Okay, so for those that don't know me, my name is Paul and I'm obsessed with financial freedom. I've spent several years of my life looking for the best way to make passive income and also learn digital skills and how you can be financially free, improve yourself, and also live the best life that you can be. So like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're all about that. So what is a topical map? A topical map, in simple terms, is a list of topics or keywords you want to publish on your website. You don't just magically get this topical map or, or, just, or just magically get this keyword. A lot of research, a lot of time and effort goes into creating this topical map. Basically speaking, when you have a topical map and you stick to publishing just the articles in your topical map, this is very beneficial for your website. It basically just tells Google what your website is all about. It shows the algorithm that, oh yes, your website is about this specific topic and the algorithm knows what your website is about and can appropriately categorize you and place you in the right search. This leads to Google indexing your content faster because if every single content on your website is about a specific topic and when you publish new articles in the same general category, then your articles get indexed faster because Google is not, because the algorithm is not trying to figure out what your content is about. It's just about a specific topic. And this is why niche websites have been so successful in the past and why big company websites we just focus on just one topic are still successful to today also this also and this is also the secret behind e-commerce website because e-commerce they're basically selling one thing and then they publish a lot of articles about that one thing okay you get what i'm going with this yeah so i want us to go through a very realistic scenario we have two sites in this scenario site a and site b site a is a brand new website with 20 published articles on it. These 20 articles are about laptops, website development, and traveling. While on the other hand, Site B is also a brand new website, but this website only publishes articles about laptops. Which website do you think will perform better? Which website do you think will be indexed faster, get more organic traffic? And which website would Google ultimately love? Site B. My bet is on site B because this website has solely focused on a specific topic which is about laptops and is publishing every article about laptops. So now that I've said all that, so how do you create a topical map? Okay, I'm going to give you the very simple method. There's a simple method and there's the reclusive, very thorough method. For the sake of this video, I just want you to know about topical maps, create a very basic topical map and they can get started from there. So how do you do this? So depending on what your website is about or what you want your website to be about, if it's a new website or old website, remember topical maps work for both new websites and old websites. So as long as you have a website or you have a blog, you can create a topical map for it and it can work for you. So how do you, so how do you create a topical map? Very simple. Let's use the example of laptops again. So if you have a website about laptops or you are thinking about creating a website about laptops, I want you to think about it in different categories. So if you are basically talking about laptops, you need to talk about laptop reviews. Is this laptop good for you? Is it laptop bad for you? Also, you need to talk about laptop brands too. Because there are so many laptop brands, you're going to be able to review a lot of laptops. And depending on the type of laptops you want to review, are you going to be reviewing high-end laptops, gaming laptops, or just 
MacBook laptops. So I'm sure you have seen the different content buckets, which is also known as topical map categories you can you, you can publish articles on. So if I was creating a topical map for a laptop site, depending on the direction of your client, if the client is heading towards high-end laptops, high-end laptops that sell for about $2,000 upward. So in that topical map, we can have the different laptop review, different high-end laptop reviews. We're going to have about five different brands. We're also going to be comparing these brands with each other. There's also going to be articles written on specific laptop reviews. So now we're going to be reviewing specific laptops like, okay, HP Omen 2025 review. We're also going to be doing random posts like the best Lenovo ThinkPads of 2024 the best HP Omen laptops, the best iron laptops under $1,000, or the best LG laptops for students, for, for college, for senior, for young entrepreneurs, for YouTubers, for content creators. You get what I'm saying? So every so so all these topic ideas I'm just creating out of the top of my head is basically what forms a topical map. I'm going to write all these article topics in a topical map and after creating your topical map, you get to publish each and every one of these articles on your website and by doing so, you're going to be sending positive signals to Google. Google is going to eventually crawl your website and when they do, they're going to discover that most of your articles, all your articles are centered about laptops, not just any laptops, iron laptops and not just any iron laptops, you're talking about specific brands. And also while creating your topical map, you can also you can also discover or just stumble upon low-hanging fruit or just very low competition keywords, which is going to even make your site get indexed faster and get you showing up on Google search faster. And that will happen in my brand new websites that I built. I was able to create a topical map of mostly low competition keywords. I researched the hell out of my niche and I found about 40 different articles on just a single content silo I wanted to, to talk about and I published every single one of them. And the first article to rank was the lowest competition article and, and that was how my brand new website of just barely less than 10 days old was able to rank on the first page of Google, which just shows that Topical map, topical authority absolutely works. If you want help creating a topical map for your new or your old website or your blog, you can reach out to me, you can send me a message, you can leave a comment. You can also click on the link in my description and you can get across to me. And hopefully we can work together to make your website better, to get more traffic, get more leads and ultimately make you more money. So if you want to know what website hosting company not to use, make sure to watch this video right now. Thank you.